Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters. Please follow me on X, Twitter. And if you're in the market to buy a Tesla, please use my referral code. I want to pay, I don't know if you had a chance to, buy, to read it. Please don't if you didn't, but I'll give you a link if you'd like to. It's a huge article, 4,000 words on Reuters. And the, and the um, title is Tesla created secret team to uh, suppress thousands of driving range complaints. Basically, they're talking to one driver, this dude, and um, two quote. I mean, out of these 4,000 words, two quotes are worth mentioning. The first one here is, we are looking at the range and you literally see the number decreases in front of your eyes. I'm driving a car, I'm going 80 miles an hour, 60 miles, whatever miles an hour, and the range goes down. What a great concept. I never heard of it. How is it possible? I'm driving my gas car, which has just filled up the tank at the gas station, and as I'm driving, I see that I have less gas. Isn't that incredible? It, it, this is, I mean, this article, these 4,000 words, if you didn't read it, don't. If you feel like it, go ahead and read it. I read it in actually two languages because I did an equivalent story on my Hebrew channel. But let me take you to the last line and a half, literally the last line and a half of the same driver. Here it is. I do love my Tesla, the engineer said, but I just tempered my expectation of what it can do in certain condition. What? Ma, ma, what, what, what is this? Is this some kind of a joke? So basically Tesla created a secret team that their all their only job is to tell drivers to go to hell, uh, to lie to them, and to change the story and to tell them that it was diagnosed from distance, so they don't come. And the whole thing about their range is 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 not true, and uh, it's like a, remind me of Dieselgate. Now I want I'm gonna put you. Um, a link to a YouTube video. It's great 18 minutes. I watched the whole thing. It's called How EV Range is Determined and Why the Process is Flawed. It's very good how the EPA in um, in California and in Michigan decide what's, what's the range, what's the estimated range. So when you buy an electric car, you say 300 EPA. Obviously, it's estimated. Now, with, with, the, with all modesty, and modest I'm not, I have, my wife and I have, tremendous experience of real world range. We drive literally since 2015 until now electric cars and we take massive biblical proportion uh, um, uh, uh, rides from Jersey to, to uh, uh, Florida every year. That's about 2,000 miles, 1,500 miles back and forth and driving. We just went to Montreal last week 850 miles, made a video about it. We drive, and as you know, just like in gasoline cars, it all depends on certain conditions. Weather, weight, drag, these are all, all kinds of conditions that can determine what is your answer. So when I drive by myself, let's say I drive to DCs, which I often do, all right, about 500, kilo, 500 miles, 800 kilometers, by myself, I go about 70 miles, 75 miles an hour. In the fall, I get great range. In the heat, hot summer, less. In the brutal winter, less. Okay, I drive with my whole family. I put cargo, I put the full spare tire. Guess what's gonna happen? Less. Same thing in, in, in a gasoline car. I once bought a Ford Fusion plug-in hybrid that says you get a, if you charge the car, 15 EV range, and you drive, you get a thousand miles on a full tank. It didn't even give me a half. Why? It was the four of us. We had cargo. We had, you know, driving in the winter. So it's a, a different uh, condition. Now, I can tell you, just like in gasoline cars, electric car batteries degrade. My 2021 uh, Model 3 degraded by 3% so far. It's fine. It degraded by 3%. I have 3% less than what it used to, it used to show. A, a three, four, five-year-old gasoline car with now a few oil changes and it's less efficient will take more gas as time go by. It take more gas as depend on the driving condition, the weight just like like an expense. So to 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 um to say that this four thousand word 
bogus article, really disgraceful article. I, I found Tesla would sue them, not on the range. That's stupid. I, every, every kid knows that this is not the case. But to say that Tesla has a secret team, that that's what they do to squash complaints and to so they can save a thousand dollars per customer if they don't show up in the in the uh, 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 you know in the service center. If I open a, a, a call now on my Tesla app and say I don't know what's wrong with my battery, they will do a remote diagnosis, say everything is okay, or come to our center. Why would I take a day off and go to the center if I don't need to? This is so stupid. All right, uh, again, before I finish, I highly recommend you watch this uh, uh, video uh, that was published like a week ago, all right? It's really, really good video. I encourage you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.